Oh, it is a chilly January day and few things warm one to the core of your soul like a good cup of hot soup. And a good soup with a real beef bone broth base is hard to beat. But really, who first came up with the idea of boiling bones? And why are we now, just now, rediscovering the health benefits of broth that our ancestors just a hundred years ago knew oh so well? That is what we are going to check out. Ted here. Our hunter-gatherer ancestors didn't waste a thing. Actually, they couldn't afford to because most of their hunts weren't all that successful. You see, after they butchered the animal, our crafty cave dwellers would then fill the animal skins with the hot rocks from around the fire and the bones of the crematorium critter. You see, by baking the bones, the happy hunter made them brittle so that they could easily be broken and the super nutritious marrow could then be sucked out. But they had no oven mitts and that meant for burned hands. Then, around 15,000 to 20,000 BC, the Chinese invented pottery and this new technology revolutionized cooking. You see, to extract the marrow, the now nuanced Neolithic could boil the bones in water for a long period of time, making for greater extraction. With less human energy expended and fewer burned hands, and with the savory stock, human health dramatically increased. Things kept on for many a millennia. In ancient Greece, Hippocrates, the father of Western-style medicine, advocated beef bone broth as a powerful healing agent and not just a food. Up until the 1860s, doctors in Europe, the North Americas, and South America praised the healing benefits of chicken and beef bone broth. Then, in the late 1800s, around 1880, Healthcare met the Industrial Revolution and the emergence of the growing pharmaceutical industry. As broth could not be patented, emerging big farm and MDs alike began calling into question not only the health benefits, but even the safety of beef bone broth. In 1908 came the real game changer, the invention of MSG, monosodium glutamate. Now, industrial food producers who had held back on producing bone broth due to the long cooking times, which cut into profit margin, began adding MSG to enhance the perception of flavor while cutting back on the actual use of beef and bones to make the broth. And today, canned beef broth has, or beef broth, has virtually no actual beef in it. A matter of fact, U.S. laws say that to be called beef broth, you only have to have one seven thousandth of an ounce of beef per every ounce of water. One seven thousandth of an ounce. You see, the savory flavor actually comes from the addition of MSG and yeast extract. And with the abolition of beef bones came the dereliction of the health benefits. But with the return by many to real cooking, instead of add a can of this and a can of that, the benefits have been rediscovered as nutritionists and MDs both are extolling the true beefy broth as highly nutritious, good for the gut, and anti-inflammatory, a significant aid in fighting arthritis, as well as an aid to good sleep and weight loss. But 
you have to make it for yourself. Because as I mentioned, most of what you find on the grocery store shelves has actually no or very little real beef in it. And that means very little nutrition. I mean, hey, try it. You will feel better. I hope that this has been fun and informative. For more fun recipes, videos, and travel tips, check out our website at historybytheplate.com. Oh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. It is fun and free. Happy cooking.